Hello, welcome to the Music Subjective. Today I would like to talk to you about John Lennon's Give Me Some Truth and Pink Floyd's A Momentary Lapse of Reason. That is because we're specifically looking at deluxe box set versions which have a few extras. So let's go and see what's inside, shall we? Welcome, my name is Phil. Now, why am I looking at these two albums now, when the John Lennon one was released in October 2020, or that version of it, and the Pink Floyd one was released in October 2021, that version of it? Well, no other reason that I just bought them in the sale at HMV, so I thought, why not? So let's have a look at John Lennon first, shall we? Here is John Lennon Deluxe box set. I really like the look of this box. I like the feel of it. I like the way that the media slides in to one side of it, like almost like an album. Um, the media sleeve, you get a poster. It's actually double-sided, but I have omitted to show you the other side. Silly me. Here you have the sticker, which will always stay in the box as part of the set. I'll never use it. Now, this is the reason I bought it for the Blu-ray for these three uh, high definition remasters that's why i've got this set you also get some postcards which includes the um, memo that he sent to the queen giving his mba back and another photograph which again is in the book now we've got the two cds which will go in the car when i need to listen to it in the car and now this is what's i think really worth out this book it's absolutely superb 124 page book it's got all the lyrics in there of the tracks it's got the background to every one of the songs in there how the song came about and it's got the single discography at the back absolutely superb book which i think would cost 20 25 pounds if you were able to buy it in the shop you can see from the sticker there the whole set cost me 39.99 for the book two cds the souvenirs that you get with it and the blu-ray audio remastered, remixed. I think it's an absolutely fantastic set and it sounds superb. So that was John Lennon, giving some truth box set. For me, it's absolutely fantastic. And I want to emphasize it is just an overview. It isn't a review. Anyway, let's move on to the Pink Floyd momentary lapse of reason. A slightly smaller box. Well, you can see it. Nevertheless, it's the music that matters, but Let's take a look to see what's inside, shall we? Oh, and to think I could say box set a few more times. Box set, 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 box set. Box set. I think you get the point. Here's Pink Floyd's Momentary Lapse of Reason Deluxe Edition. And inside the box we have we have the outlay sheet that had all the track listings. Come to that later. We have a little envelope full of stickers which is the front cover and various stickers representing tracks on the album. I will never ever use these because they're part of the set as far as I'm concerned, so they will stay in the envelope part of the set. You have the book, which has the lyrics, uh, various photos in it, and credits, uh, etc. So, uh, yeah, nice little souvenir to have with the uh, album. Makes it more like a, an LP when you've got all that detail. Plus the CD and the Blu-ray. The Blu-ray is the main reason why I've got this set for the surround sound music and high digital quality and it sounds amazing all fits nicely in this lovely little box so you've got the outlay sheet which was underneath the plastic wrapping that come with the set i'd leave that in there against part of the set plus the sticker which was on that uh, plastic wrapping on the outside don't like getting rid of those if i can take them off and use them i'll stick it back inside the box a bit ocd i know but hey ho so a quick overview of the track listing. You can see on there that the Blu-ray has some of the graphics from the live gigs that they've done at the time. Plus it's got an interview with Dave Gilmore on there as well as three music videos. This was $29.99 in the HMV sale. Bargain. So a nice little set to have. So that was the overview of the Pink Floyd. I'm not going to say that word again. The three-dimensional square-shaped container with which the 
media and all the extras came in. That's about that. Anyway, so that concludes my two overviews and hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it. If you did, please press like, notification, subscribe, you know the drill. If you didn't, go and tell someone else you might. And as they say in the onion factory, that's shallot. Bye for now.